Well, yes, this is definitely a shot in the arm, which is actually coming for all us Indians, because now we do have another COVID-19 vaccine, which we will soon have access to. The news is that Cadilla has received the emergency use authorization by the Indian drug regulators for its COVID-19 vaccine, Zycov-D. Now, it is the sixth vaccine to be approved in India after the likes of Covishield, Covaxin, Sputnik, Moderna, and j and But remember, a couple of these vaccines are still to see a commercial launch in India. Now, for Zycov-D in particular, it is a needle-free vaccine, which means that the vaccine is administered on an intradermal basis through a needle-free applicator, which is called PharmaJet. So it is not your regular injection and hence is expected to hurt less. Separately, Zycov-D is a DNA-based vaccine. Now, the vaccine, most importantly, is approved for anyone who is above 12 years of age. So remember that this is India's first vaccine, which is approved for the age group of 12 to 18. It is three doses with around a 66% efficacy. And the company has said that the majority of their subjects have also been tested with the Delta variant, because that's when exactly their phase three trial was also conducted. Now, the company is, in terms of manufacturing, looking to manufacture one crore doses by October. They're looking to probably scale it up to around four to five crore doses by December of this year or Jan of 2022. Now, in terms of pricing, that is not decided and neither is the distribution. We'll probably get more clarity on these details in the next seven to 10 days. So how exactly does this vaccine work? Interestingly, this particular vaccine is a two-shot vaccine every time you go to administer it. So for example, you will get one shot on each arm and you will get, uh, you will get that three times. So for example, you will be administered this vaccine three times over the span of two months. And every time you go in, one shot on each arm. So it's a total of six shots. But the company says that because it's intradermal, it does not hurt as much as an injectable vaccine. Now, do you have enough staff to administer this? And are they trained to administer this, considering that it is a different type of technology? The company says that they have staff which is internally trained for this. They have uh, conducted a large scale uh, clinical trial as well. So there is an ample amount of staff which has already administered the vaccine. Plus, there will be training. For example, there will be a 15 minute video. Plus, they've hired people to train. They don't believe it's that complicated. Now, in terms of who exactly will get this vaccine, because remember, this is the only vaccine available for those between the age of 12 to 18. So common sense and most of the subject experts have said that the prioritization will be within that age group or towards that age group and not towards adults, considering that adults already have choices available. But the government will decide on prioritization. Also, one can probably book on the COVID app and uh, Zydus will also have some kind of backend integration. Private institutions are likely to decide the allocation of the vaccine towards which population independently. And it will also be determined by factors such as demand supply. Again, more clarity in the next seven to 10 days on how things pan out. Lastly, the company is already speaking or they've seen interest from hospitals, institutions, but there's no contract which is decided at this point in time. The first priority is the discussion with the government. And one more thing before we wrap up this, the company is also working on a two dose vaccine. So right now, remember, it is three doses. And every time you go in, there are two shots, one shot on each arm. So what happens now? The company is also making, uh, is doing work to ensure that they can reduce the three doses to two doses. But that's not something which is a near term opportunity. Probably takes some time, according to experts.